Hello everyone, welcome back, your friendly programmer here. Today is an exciting day, we're going to be implementing keyboard input. Now for those of you who don't know what keyboard, keyboard input is, um, I'm going to explain very briefly for you guys. So, keyboard input is exactly what it sounds like. It is a way to track your keyboard keyboard input so if you were to press in our case um the key a down then you want to track that a gets pressed down and you want to go in the leftward direction and so in short it's a way to connect your keyboard inputs to different actions in the game and today we're going to be implementing four main keyboard um, keyboard inputs, one for escaping, and then WAD for movement. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new class. So let's go ahead and open up this project folder open up our source folder and open up our package here for com.game.object.util and let's go ahead and right click this and click new and a new class and let's go ahead and name this key input dot java and let's go ahead and finish and now we have a new key input dot java class now this is going to hold all our logic for our keyboard inputs and so let's go ahead and start by doing an extends key adapter and let's go ahead and import this now let me explain briefly what a key adapter is so a key adapter is a abstract class that allows you to um, create a or allows the extending class to create a key even a key to become a key event listener so our key input class is now a key event listener and that's going to be important because we want to be able to listen to when certain actions occur like when we press a key or when we um, release a key and whatnot so that is what our key adapter is going to allow us to do so there's a little bit more code that needs to be um, typed out in our game class to attach this now key event listener class um, to to make it work but we'll be doing that after we finish the logic here so just to, um, I guess, add in the comments real quick. Extending key adapter allows the extending class, in this case it's key input, to become a key event listener. And a key event listener takes action when certain events take place and in our case a key press a key release and there's actually also a key um, I believe clicked, but we won't be implementing that. So, um, oh, let's do listener. We won't be implementing that, but we'll be implementing these two methods. So let's go ahead and create a couple instance variables here. So let's do private boolean, and let's make that an array, and let's do key down is equal to new boolean 4 
And so this is going to represent our WASD keys and whether or not they are currently being pressed down or not. And let's go ahead and do private handler handler. And the reason why we need this is because we need to be able to access our player um, so that we can make our player move. And we do that by calling a method that we created in the handler class um, a few episodes back. So let's go ahead and create a constructor for our class now. So let's do public key input handler handler. And in here, we'll just initialize our handler to whatever handler we pass in. So let's do this dot handler is equal to handler. Okay, that looks good. And um, now let's go ahead and override some of the functions from our key adapter abstract class. So let's do at override. And let's do public void key pressed key event e. And let's go ahead and import this key event. Now, this key event object that we're passing in here is a key event. So if we press down A, then no, it will be that pressing down a key event. Um, likewise, if we press any other key, um, that will be the key event that gets passed in. And now let's go ahead and do int key is equal to e dot get key code. So now we're going to be getting the key code for that key event. So in the case that we press down a, the key code would be the letter a or, or some code that, that represents the letter a. And likewise, if we press down the space bar, it will be a key code that represents that space bar. And let's go ahead and do if key is equal to key event dot VK underscore escape. And in here, let's do system dot exit zero. So this is sort of how we're going to be checking our our keys that we press. So we're going to say if the key code is equal to this key, which is um, this, this is a constant that represents the escape character. So VK stands for, I think, virtual key, and it's going to be the virtual key escape. And so if that key is equal to that, then we're going to go ahead and um, exit our game. So we're going to system dot exit zero, which is like a successful exit. And let's do if key is equal to key event dot VK virtual key W, then we want to um, that's right. So if we do W, then we want to go ahead and jump. Um, so let's, let's just comment these for now. So let's do, we want to jump and let's go ahead and do if key is equal to key event dot virtual key underscore a. So this is if we go left. So move left. Then we want to do something and if key is equal to key event dot VK D, then we want to go ahead and do something as well. And, and so now let's go ahead and just comment this as well. So move right. Um, so now let's go ahead and fill in this code. So let's do the move left first. So we want to first get our player and then we just want to change the velocity. And remember we implemented the tick method earlier for the player object 
And so if we just update the player velocity, then it will automatically, um, the tick, the ticks will automatically update the players that it, it moves in whatever direction according to the velocity that we set. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do handler dot get player dot set vel x and we want to do a value of let's just do negative eight and so this will set the x velocity to a negative value which means it'll go leftward and after that let's go ahead and update our key down boolean array so let's do key down and let's have the the first indexed value represent a so let's go ahead and do key down one is uh, set that to true because now we press press that key down and let's do a very similar thing for our move right so let's do handler dot get player dot set velocity x and let's go in the positive direction now so just eight and let's do key down two so let's have this have the second indexed um, element in the array b b for for the the right or for for the d key and let's set that to true and let's fix this typo so let's not forget the r there and now let's go ahead and implement the jump so the jump is going to use 